Hi everybody, welcome back to Yoga Pants and Plants. Today is day four. Over the last three days you have learned so much and here's an opportunity to review and then experience more of what it feels like to move from your very center. Let's get started. Yoga Pants and Plants. 30 Days of Compassionate Yoga is an invitation to journey toward being in the present moment an opportunity to emulate the way nature lives in the moment. Be like a plant. Don't worry how you look. Notice how you sense and respond like the way a tree reaches for the sun or a source of water. Nourish yourself with movement and stillness. Allow compassion to flourish for a little bit of time every day. Day 4, Moving from the Center In the last three days, you've learned so much. Day four provides a chance to review and experience your body's natural ability to move from the center. Begin seated on your mat. Place your hands on your belly and find your breath. On an inhale, feel the belly expand and on an exhale, feel the belly release. On an inhale, breathe in your true self the part of you that shines from the very center of you. On an exhale, share that true self with the part of you that connects to all beings with astounding compassion. Congratulations on all you've accomplished in the last three days. You have learned about the Soma. The Soma is the body that's felt from the inside out. You've learned about the five koshas in Sanskrit. The deepest layer is called the Anamata Kosha. This layer contains ecstasy, love, and joy. Some yoga traditions refer to this layer as the true self, while others believe this kosha opens the door to the true self. On Day two, the next deepest layer of the body, wisdom was introduced. And on day three, the emotional body was explored in the way that we stood and propped or collapsed. The other two layers will be introduced and then more in-depth study will occur starting with the outer layer and moving in. Mobility, stability, and strength. This is the methodology of Soma Yoga. This comes from Yoga North's training. Use somatic practices to create more mobility and consciousness. Utilize therapeutic yoga and functional movement patterns. Utilize classic yoga poses to build good biomechanics Stamina, strength, and fun. Ahimsa, the practice of nonviolence, is taught as one of the ten ethical practices of yoga. Nonviolence includes living a life in balance so one is available and aware even when subtle violence like powerlessness, self harm, or taking away someone else's autonomy by helping them. Diaphragmatic breathing, purposefully breathing, fully expanding from the movement of the diaphragm. Flexion, a movement that comes from allowing the spine to release like a string of pearls. Arch and flatten, a basic exercise that can be done at any time on the mat, in a chair, or standing to find the highest, most buoyant expression of the spine and it leads to a steady, stable pelvis.
yielding a gentle response from gravity that creates buoyancy to your movements. As a perfect place to start today, begin by dangling your feet from your hip sockets and allow them to fall naturally to the floor. Arch and flatten your spine a few times to find the most buoyant and upright spine and a strong, steady pelvis. Bend your knees to feel the action of yielding to earth as you gradually straighten, maintain the connection to the earth with your feet. Bend forward at the hip creases. Gradually straighten while maintaining connection with the earth in the most buoyant way. Bend forward at the hip crease again and this time allow the spine to flex forward. You may use a chair or a block as needed for stability. The spine flexes forward vertebrae by vertebrae. Notice your toes. How do they feel? Are they relaxed and open to the earth? Notice your feet. Do they feel relaxed and open to the earth? Notice your ankles. How do they feel? Are they relaxed and open to the earth? Gradually return the body so it is parallel to the earth. Notice your knees. Do they feel relaxed and open to the earth? Continue to stand up using the large muscles of your thighs to pull you up. Notice your bottom. Does it feel relaxed and open to the earth? Tension in these areas of the body prevents you yielding. Check for these areas throughout your day and see if you are limiting the body's buoyancy. Find a soft folded blanket and lay it on your mat. Move to the ground and lay on your belly. Lay in such a way that your belly is supported and your head can comfortably turn and relax on the floor. Allow yourself to release your weight into the earth. Feel the comfort of the earth with your soft front body. Relax with each breath. Notice the belly on your inhales. The belly gently pushes toward the soft blanket and then relaxes on an exhale. Allow any natural impulses of movement that come from the very center of you. You are like a starfish on the sand. The arms and legs respond to the impulses that come from the center. Breathe and observe. Breathe and observe. This is your time to connect with your breath and the body's ability to move from its very center. Now bring your legs toward you to what is called a child's pose position. Breathe here and observe several times. Gently bring your arms under the shoulders and push your body up so it is in a tabletop position and play around with moving from child's pose to tabletop. Breathe and observe as you make that transition from child's pose to tabletop and tabletop to child's pose. When you feel complete with those movements, bring the body to rest in Shavasana or Karp's pose. Use a pillow or blanket to feel comfortable and relax. Stretch out your legs and release the tension from your toes.
There is a concept taught in yoga philosophy called satya. It is translated as truthfulness. Be real rather than being nice. Be real rather than being nice. This is a quote found in Dabadel's book, which is a powerful guide to the yamas and niyamas, which are the 10 ethical practices of yoga. What does being real mean to you? Think of a time when you were just being nice and went along with the crowd. Did it feel truthful to you? That part of you that is able to notice your truth is your witness. This layer of consciousness is nourished through working with ahimsa and satya, nonviolence and truthfulness, along with eight other ethical guidelines for daily living that yoga philosophy offers. During the next few moments of silence, invite your witness to observe you from above. You are laying on the ground in this moment of truthfulness. I will bring you back from this time of silence in a few moments. comes to an end, ever so gently begin to move your fingers and toes and roll to one side. Gently return to a seated position with your eyes in a soft focus or closed. Tap into your intuition and your wisdom on how to be truthful on this day. Namaste.
Now, as you rise from your mat, don't forget to eat more plants. You will feel and move better. Follow us for tips at flowingyen.com.